Hello and welcome to the third lecture on WMC. In the last lecture, we have discussed on the evolution of different generations of wireless communication um, from Indian context as well as for globally accepted standards. And we have observed that nowadays the 3G and beyond, that is 4G, is what uh, people are looking into because of its high data rate capability and the usual demand per user is for the high data rate. So that's why people are actually using um, or uh, trying to get hold of the 4G network. Now in this particular lecture we start on the preliminary discussion on the cellular networks in which we are going to discuss on cert certain definitions and parameters which are very fundamental to cellular communication. The first thing is the mobile, uh, what do you mean by a mobile? Uh, mobile we all of us use but when we are comparing it with a portable device, how it is basically different. So the first thing is a mobile if we consider, mobile is nothing but, mobile is nothing but a handheld terminal that is intended to be used while in motion at high speed and at unspecified location. So that motion at high speed that's that's something very unique or something very new that comes in and also the location is not bound so you have you can roam around anywhere within a particular geographical region under a particular coverage of a base station which we are going to discuss what is a base station so that is what the main idea is and the difference between mobile and a portable device which is the second definition is that it is also a radio terminal that can be handled but user are having a much slower speed so that is what the main idea is so that's why a laptop or a cordless phone can be considered to be a portable device whereas a mobile device is one that we are going to use uh, we are using mostly so that is a basic difference because of a low speed and a high speed okay the subscriber is one that people the, the, per, the, the person who are using it okay like we all do and finally the definition that comes in is a base station which is a fixed antenna unit with which the subscriber will communicate so basically you have a transmitter somewhere here so you have a mobile terminal which is a transmitter for example and it is trying to communicate whereas there is a base station which is mounted on top of some building okay this is quite a familiar scene in urban areas you can observe that on top of a building it will be mounted the base stations and all the details of the base stations and all we might be discussing at some time later but this base station it will take the signal from a transmitter and it will redirect it to the receiver okay so exactly how the process goes we will try to come up with the forward and the reverse channel discussion on this at some point of later so both way it will be like this it might be connected okay so the transmitter might be connecting to the receiver or and since it's a both way communication so naturally the receiver might also uh, throw it back to the transmitter using the same uh, base station so that is how the base station works mostly it is located at the center of the cell which is again a very theoretical assumption but even at the edges of the cell uh, is where the base station might be located the next definition that comes in is the cell Okay, so cell is a footprint of the overall coverage area can can be subdivided into many smaller virtual segments. Okay, so this is very important. It's a it's it's an it's it's a smaller segment or the smallest segment for that matter, which is possible. Uh, where all the others. So suppose uh, so suppose there is a geographical region maybe like this. We'll discuss it later further. So this may be. Uh, this circle may be the small cell that actually constitutes this whole rectangle uh, for that matter. Okay, so this is how the whole scenarios of cell came in. Okay, and ideally it happens to be like this because the whole coverage region should be covered by these cells. So each cell will ideally have a base station. So each of them will have a base station mounted somewhere here. Okay, all this will have a base station and that will be at the center or at the edge of the cell. Okay. And naturally, we'll have each each of this cell. Suppose we are considering this as one of the cell. Um, if we are zooming on to this, so we have a base station which is mounting out here, and there are multiple number of subscribers present in here. Okay, so that is how the main concept of cellular communication came in. Now, in light of this, there is a very very important two channels that are present. One is a control channel, the other one is a traffic channel. Now the control channels is again the virtual logical radius access channel that can be used for transmission for call setup, 
called request and other beacon messages okay so basically whenever we need to set up a call we need to send some information that okay i am going i am being a transmitter i want to communicate so what are the process i have to follow so i'll inform it to the base station the base station will agree and it will acknowledge it back and hence the process will continue so those information of controlling information only after this controlling information are okay from both the side then only the traffic channel will take care because traffic channel is nothing but what is used for the voice transmission okay the data for that matter so forward channel and the reverse channel are like those type of two channels where radio channels used for transmission of information from base station to mobile station whereas for the reverse channel it's the opposite way around the radio channel used for transmission of information from mobile to base station just to give you an idea about how this thing work let us go to a new page uh, maybe like this so in this what we are discussing is like something like we have a device we have a mobile terminal somewhere here and we have a base station out here okay so when we have a scenario like this which uh, is quite obvious that each subscriber will be under the coverage region of certain uh, base station now suppose we have a let us change the color of it um, okay so we we have a scenario where suppose a mobile device is trying to communicate out here okay so what might happen is that using this forward control channel okay the forward control channel as we call it okay so forward control channel this is basically sending some control information so control information control information again once again these are the forward control channel so call setup call um, initiation whatever the information being sent that is being transferred from base station to the particular device now how this is known and all this is again part of the controlling information which we'll discuss later on the other end what will happen if this controlling information comes in the mobile device will actually have a something called as a reverse control channel so if we consider this to be the um, this to be another um, instance suppose we do yellow so the mobile will send an acknowledgement something like this using a reverse control channel okay so basically these two are the controlling information if this two are okay then what will happen eventually that the base station which again i'll change the color um maybe like this so this will again send some information like this and this will be like the forward downlink traffic channel or forward downlink traffic channel now it changes to traffic channel because now the data is being uh, transferred over or on the other end what we can have is that if this mobile tries to communicate okay if this mobile tries to communicate to the base through the base station it will be reverse uplink traffic channel Okay. so now we can observe the scenario that if suppose this mobile is a transmitter okay if this is a transmitter so what will happen that eventually this mobile will actually take the help of the reverse control channel to send some information to the setting information to the base station now you have another base stations uh, another mobile device here which will get the information through something like a forward control channel so the reverse control channel works for transmitter to receiver mobile device to the base station whereas the base station is communicating with another mobile station via this forward control channel on the other hand if suppose this mobile starts to communicate to this mobile it has to do through the reverse control channel and finally the reverse traffic channel must be established between the two ends so that the transmitter and the receiver gets connected that is the main idea behind this channeling information okay so let us go back once again so that is what the main idea behind this the next few definitions are also very much 
like very important with context to cellular uh, communication whereas the full duplex is what when where the simultaneous two way communication uh, is happening but the transmission and the reception are both at the different channel like we are doing it for any mobile uh, communication for that matter when we are trying to communicate to the base station that is in a one particular channel and when we when it is received at the receiver it will be in a different channel so basically both way it will be a simultaneous transmission and receiver okay so that's why the full duplex comes in handoff is where the mechanism to transfer of any mobile device from one base station coverage to another mobile uh, another base station happening without any un uninterruption or without any sorry without any interruption or to get an uninterrupted call service what we are doing so if, if in in a, in a in a picture in a, in a way we can depict in this way like suppose this is a base station okay this is a base station and we have a something of a coverage region like this and now particularly this mobile station was here okay now suddenly it has moved to a position somewhere here but that is beyond the reach of this base station a okay so we have another base station mounted somewhere here which is base station B, which has a coverage region like this. Now the same device has come over here. So there should be an handover, handover between the base station A to B in order to get make sure that this particular terminal, this particular terminal has an uninterrupted service. So that's what the handoff does. There is a lot of discussion on handoff, which will come at some time later. Paging information is again a short, simultaneously short message that is sent by over the entire region primarily to locate the mobile station the base station usually does that so you have to locate the mobile devices which are in the vicinity of your own um, cellular coverage so the base station will send these simultaneous messages and based on that the big based on the acknowledgement being received from the different mobile station it will actually take into account okay. so that's how since we know already half duplex uh, full duplex now half duplex is nothing but a two-way communication using the same radio channel so both the transmission and the reception is done in the same channel okay um, and finally when we are looking at mobile switching center so MSC is basically a switching center that coordinates all these activities that where to communicate whether control channel whether there should be a traffic channel and some other very important task which we will come into that time later uh, this is basically wireless trans receiver for that matter okay again which will be markedly different for different other systems but broadly these are the units uh, being used like there should be a voice and data which should be encoded okay before sending it over to a digital modulation okay there can be many number of digital modulation which might be used so the encoder so information bit should be like sample quantize because it's a digital system that we are looking at so sample quantize and convert it and then it should be encoded it will be sent over through different modulation scheme and the signal processing block will send it to some antennas it will go through the wireless channel and again it will be received at the receiver so this is how the whole thing works our device is anyway it's a trans receiver like the mobile the terminal the mobile that we use okay so that's how it is finally we come to fdd or the full duplex system as we call it so it actually this is one of the very key features of this 2g um, or the cellular communication that it allows a simultaneous transmission and reception between the transmitter and receiver using a principle of fdd or tdd now in fdd it involves a simultaneous transmission and reception of the signals using two separate transmitter and receiver antenna but the problem is when you are having a two transmitter and receiver antenna separately so it's a cost it's not a cost effective solution so when you are having only one single to reduce the cost at subscriber unit one single antenna uh, must be used which will be working both as a transmitter as well as a reception okay another part is the tdd which we all know that time division duplexing so it uses the fact that it's possible to share the same radios signal or radio channel in time where a portion will be used for the uplink but the other one should be uh, the remaining portion can be used for the downlink okay but this is only possible when we are having a digital transmission format and it's very sensitive to timing offset so that is one of the major issues of this full duplex system so that's why it's more suited for an indoor application where the propagation delays are small now what is the feature of this propagation delay how this indoor application works will come to a far far later stage when we'll discuss on the multiple uh, multi-part fading status okay thank you for um, listening to this uh, we'll come back with the next video soon thank you